One of the most common questions asked is how did you make so much money? Well, it's really quite simple. You're always just looking for things that have high profit margins. And when you find it, that typically means that other people are going to be crafting the same thing because they see such high profit margins. So we're going to take a look specifically here at one of the best items in alchemy to craft, the Vicious Vic Viscous Glossy Oil. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, but this glossy oil here is really, really a uh, good seller, and it has a huge profit margin. So currently, at the current auction house prices, this is approximately three gold. This is approximately one gold fifty, one gold fifty, uh, five gold. So you're looking at a total of five plus three. That's eight uh, plus three. That's 11. So 11 gold to craft and 23 labor. It only requires 10,000 proficiency. So pretty much anyone can do this. And that's one of the downside is I wish things had a lot higher proficiency requirements because then you wouldn't have as much competition. Uh, but anyway, you can still make a shit ton of money on these guys. So remember, it cost us 11 gold to actually craft these guys by the marketplace. You look up here, the cheapest one is 1699. So that right there, 11 gold to 17 gold, essentially. That's a 5 gold profit, you know, give or take some with the auction house fee. You can see I already have one listed right here. And I may even have one listed further back here. And the reason why is you can see so many people list this. The trick is not just knowing what's a good seller, not knowing how to make the high profit. But you have to actually beat this system right here. So there's multiple players doing the exact same thing trying to sell this vicious glossy oil on the auction house and you do need two approximately to make an illustrious you kind of need to know what is required for the illustrious so even just undercutting by one penny one copper right there will get the job done all you need to do is be on the front page be first on the auction house list and then i like to put it up there so since you're trying to sell it quickly it doesn't matter how long you really put it on uh, six hours is the best because it costs the least amount. A lot of the times you're actually not going to get the sale off. So you don't want to list it for 48 hours because then it costs more. So you list it for six hours. Go ahead and list two up there right there. So we listed two up on the auction house right now. So you can see we're up first. And we'll go about do our normal business. You do want to have a sales tab open, created. So you can see. So it tells us we listed the glossy oil. It will also tell us when we sell it. So you'll notice right there above there's something that we just sold earlier. That's an old message. And now as something sells, it will pop up here in the sales tab. The glossy oil might not sell right away. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead and do some other crafting while we're waiting, looking for this to update to see if we sell anything at all. So we're going to go pop a labor potion. I'm going to go craft an armor. If those sell in the next couple minutes, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to relist them. You're going to want to relist two again right away. You don't want to really have more than two or three on the auction house at the same time because then you're competing against yourself and it's most likely you're not going to have, uh, you know, sell all of those before someone else comes up and undercuts you. So it's like a little mini game here. You're waiting in the wings, making sure that your item sells so you don't keep paying the listing fees and losing that listing fee. So if it doesn't sell in about a minute or two, we're going to check the auction house again. So we just made a jerkin. Let's open this up, see if we can get a typhoon. And it is a lightning, so it's a failure. Failure! So it hasn't sold yet. Nothing has updated here in the sales box. We can go ahead and take a look at the auction house. And you're checking to see if yours is still up first. You want to make sure yours is up first. So this one we can actually delist and take down because you can see the price has jumped pretty significantly. So we can go into our list, see what else we have for sale. This guy right here. We'll delist that. So now it's going to be a cancel item. It's going to come back to our mailbox. Anything that you do with the auction house or trading, it tracks here in your sales tab. So you click on the tab settings. All you want available here is on alerts trade slash shop you want that click that's the only thing you really want there so you can track your sales see what's going on you want to catch you know catch it when people are buying it right away so you want to be first on the auction house list 
sell some, and they typically, again, need two. So what we did is we made this jerkin over here, which required two vicious glossy oils. So that's why we have two up on the auction house. Again, we'll give it a few seconds. Nothing else. It, it's either going to sell or someone is going to undercut us by a little bit. A way to get it to sell quicker is by to undercut it significantly. So instead of just doing one little copper like what we did here, if we went and did it like $14.99, we cut way into our profit margin, but that makes it look so appealing to someone else to be like, wow, it's two gold cheaper. Like I really got to buy that really quick before someone else buys it. So if we put that up for $14.99, we're still making it for only 11 gold, and that's going to be approximately a four gold profit right there. Uh, for selling this guy, you know, fairly quickly. So if you're running into too much competition to do a big profit cut like that, uh, entices the buyers a lot more. Because if someone sees that, they're like, wow, that's a really good deal. Someone mislisted or whatever. Like they don't realize that it only costs us 11 gold to create the potion. And it only costs 10,000 proficiency. So again, some people get pissed off because they're like, why are you undercutting so much? You know, you're hurting my profits. This is true, but we are still making a shitload of profits. And it's better to sell your items for a smaller profit than to have them listed up here on the auction house and not sell and not move at all. So no one has to undercut us yet. We are still first on the auction house list. But you can see all these other guys. So this guy right here, he has his up here and he is... He got undercut. He put way too many on the auction house. So 1750, 1750, 1750. He might have sold one or two before someone else undercut him. And he put like 10 on there. So he ended up losing all of those listing fees because his potions aren't going to sell. Like the only way they're going to sell is if all these guys sell before him. And it's not going to happen. You know, you got other people on here doing the same thing. Listing, listing, listing. And again, so if it's too slow, no one's doing anything, you might want to try a different time of the day, or you might want to just try and lower the price a little bit more. So if no one buys it at 17 gold, which they really do, they buy it all the time at 17 gold, uh, you still might just be like, okay, let's throw it at 15 gold. At 15 gold, again, someone will be like, wow, there's a two gold price decrease right there. That's a bargain. I'm going to go buy it. So you don't want to undercut yourself, though. So right now, we're perfectly fine. We have the lowest one on the auction house, so if anyone wants to buy this, they're going to buy it from me. And then as soon as they sell, we're going to go relist things. If someone undercuts us, we'll wait just a second because as soon as they undercut you, that means they're watching the auction house right that second. They're looking at the prices, and so if you undercut them right away again, then it's like they know. They're on there. They're seeing it, and they're going to undercut you again. So you're going to get in a, like a, a reverse bidding war. You're going to push down the price, one silver, one copper, or whatever you're undercutting them at a time, and no one really wins at that point. So you got to let them think that they're winning. Let them list it on the auction house. Give it like two minutes, three minutes. Let them go away. They're not going to be sitting there watching the auction house, most likely. And then you can go ahead and undercut them uh, either a couple silver, a couple copper, or you know a little bit more if you want to sell it quickly and you feel that it's way overpriced. So we'll look at one other potion that is a really good sell as well, and then it's got a huge profit margin. This one right here. So I listed two up, and this is used for the high-end potions. You can see they did a smart thing. They undercut it by one penny, one penny, one penny, and there we go. So it's been sitting up here for uh, four hours. No one's bought anything. These ones are brand new listed, so meaning his probably sold. Again, he listed two at the same time. So let's go into our auctions here, and we're going to cancel that guy because, again, we are fourth on the list. No one's going to want to buy that. They're going to buy the cheaper ones. And then we'll go actually go ahead and relist them. And these guys right here have a huge profit margin. These guys require a lot more proficiency. I believe they require uh, 40,000 or 30,000 proficiency to make. So they're a little bit more limited in supply. And they only cost around 20 gold to make. And you can see the price we can sell them at is around 30 or 32 so let's go ahead and jump this down to 29.99 uh, we're going to make a 10 gold profit on this and we're going to list it for 27 there and we're going to list our two and again if they sell then we know just right away go buy the materials craft another one put it up there and kaboom you're done so that's very very simple we'll show you the materials to make those and hopefully one of those things actually sells within the next couple seconds
Alright, so you got this guy, so it requires only 20,000 proficiency, so it's even smaller than I thought. Um, the materials, again, are quite easy to get. Three crystal stabilizers, 40 bean, which is why bean is very expensive, and I touched on this in the farming video. Uh, beans sell for, like, 15 to 25 silver each, because you require 40 of them, and this has such a huge profit margin that the people that are, are selling these don't really care if they pay 40 silver or 30 silver for a bean because even at that they're making a huge amount of profit so they didn't the potions didn't sell but we got the bubble potions that actually sold right there so right there that gives us an indication it's a you know idea of what it looks like things update if you have sound on you'll actually hear a pop in your earphones or headphones or game and that will signify that something sold so right there's those guys sold we can collect the money we can go ahead and relist more potions on there and again, so the crystal stabilizers are approximately three gold. We'll go in and price everything out here. And you can see exactly, it's going to come out to around 20 gold to make that thing. Crystal stabilizers, 232. So that's a really cheap price. Uh, for three of them, that only comes out to around seven gold. So let's go ahead and buy a couple of these guys up. Because I think that's a really cheap price. Haven't seen it that low in a long time. Let's go look at the beans. So we're at 7 gold right there. We need 40 bean. You can see they're at 15 silver each. So that is going to be uh, 6 gold for 40 beans right there. So we'd be at 13 gold total. The next thing you need is rye. You need 40 rye. And you can see this guy nicely put 40 rye at you know 9.5 silver, which comes out to around 4 gold. So 4 gold right there plus the 13 so we're at 17 gold and then you need some pearls you need 20 pearls 20 pearls around 25 silver here so that means for 20 of them it's going to be five you're going to be at 19 gold and then you need some vanilla right now to finish off the potion and vanillas are pennies on the dollar they don't really count for anything and we just sold a vicious glossy oil there we go guys so it didn't take that long uh around 10 minutes to sell a vicious glossy oil we sold one so we can go and relist it so again this comes out to 20 gold for the emuls potion and you can see we can sell them for 29 gold approximately and they do sell this high they they even sell upwards like 42 gold or 43 gold it's crazy when uh, there's a limited supply on the auction house so you just have to use some simple math add things up look at things what people aren't selling and then also uh, keep constantly checking the auction house to make sure that your items are listed first. If they're not listed first, they're not the cheapest, which means they're not going to get sold first, and you're going to have some issues there. So that's why when people say they play the auction house, they're constantly on the auction house. It's a very uh, you know, addicting thing being on the auction house over and over again. So again, we're going to list another one. We have two of those up there. I like to have two because it takes two to make it illustrious. So there you go. And that's a simple, easy way to make some money with a couple uh, clutch alchemy items right there.